Hey, welcome to Build It. Have you ever thought someone was lying to you and have no idea how to get the truth out of them? Well, that's why this week we took an Arduino and we made an Arduino powered lie detector. The way it works is it measures your skin's galvanic skin response. <laughs> galvanic skin, galvanic gut. The way it works is it monitors your skin's galvanic skin response, which is a fancy way of saying your skin's conductivity. So according to some research, every time you lie or have a different emotion or change your mood, your skin's resistance will change. What we can do is we can ask someone a question we know they'll answer truthfully, like where do you live or what's your name, and measure the skin conductivity, and then we can ask them a question we know they'll lie about and measure the skin conductivity, assuming that they'll feel nervous about it. And then we can use that data to measure when someone's telling the truth or when someone's lying. Obviously it's not the most accurate system in the world, but it's a cool trick for your friends, and sometimes it actually does work. Here's how to build it. For this project we'll need an Arduino Nano. Quick side note, you need a microcontroller with serial communication for this project. That means your Arduino Gemma, Lilypad, and Adafruit Trinket won't work. If you aren't sure about your microcontroller, check the website for more detail. A green, orange, and red LED, and a 220 ohm resistor. And we're going to need to wire them up in this order. Solder the 220 ohm resistor to ground, then wire analog zero to the resistor and extend it. Next, extend the 5 volt pin. Now connect all the LEDs ground pins together, and lastly connect the green LED's positive leg to pin 2, the orange LED's positive leg to pin 3, and the red LED's positive leg to pin 4. Now let's move on to the coding part of this project. Start by pasting the code into the Arduino IDE. You can find a link to the code in the video description. Go to the tools menu in the Arduino IDE and make sure you upload it to the right board on the right port. Next, upload it. From here, you could just connect it to your subject and open the serial monitor to see the data in text form. But newer versions of the Arduino IDE have a serial plotter built in, which lets us see the data in graph form, which is what we want. To get this, go to Arduino's website and download the latest version. To test your code and wiring, press your index finger against the exposed wire of the analog zero pin and your middle finger against the exposed wire of the 5 volt pin and open the serial plotter. Your graph should look something like this. Now that everything's working, let's take a minute to see what everything does. These three LEDs let us see if someone is lying without looking at the graph by turning on when certain value thresholds are broken. The green one will turn on when the resistance is measured at above 20, the orange will turn on when the resistance is measured at above 45, and the red will turn on when the resistance is measured at above 60. I found that my resistance was normally somewhere at 20 to 30 and was 50 to 60 when I felt nervous. Now the extended pins. The extended pins analog 0 and 5 volt are what connect to our body and measure the resistance. They go on the index and middle finger and should not be moved when testing. Now, if all of that makes sense and everything works, we can start testing on our subject. But this really isn't the nicest looking project, and it needs a case. So let's design one with a nice finger strap system so we can make it nice and easy to put on. I'm thinking something like that. Now, I'm thinking the back will fold out and we can pull out the finger straps from there, which we can connect to our subject. And we'll put magnets on that so it's easy to close. Here's how we're going to build it. We're going to need to cut out these shapes from some cardboard and glue them together in this order. Now that the case is nearly done, we can begin making the finger pads. To make the finger pads, we're going to need some Velcro and some tin foil. The Velcro I'm using has a sticky side on the back so we can stick the tin foil directly to the Velcro and then wrap it, off, wrap it around our finger to make sure it fits. And then we'll take the wire from analog pin 0 and tape it to the tin foil and hot glue it in place. Now you have to make sure that you make good contact when you do this. Start by cutting out a length of the hook and loop that could fold around your finger about one and a half times. Then cut the same length out of tin foil and stick both pieces of Velcro to it. Now stick both pieces together, followed by gluing the extended wire down, making sure it still makes very good contact with the tin foil. Now repeat that with the other extended wire. And the project is nearly done. Last thing we need to do is tape down the lid for the finger pad housing. Take a small piece of tape and tape it to the back of the project and to the short edge of the lid. Now we can pack away the finger pads whenever we don't need them. 
Now test it one more time. If everything still works, you can take it to your subject, put it on their finger, and start asking them questions. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe, and let me know what you'd like me to make next in the comments below. Um, just a quick note, this area behind me is where we'll be filming Build It from now on. We won't be moving from room to room anymore with bad audio and bad lighting. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to check out my other videos, click any of the annotations to check them out.